How's it going guys? I'm Riley. I've been a lead installer for about two years now, currently doing dealer service. Today we're going to be wiring up a controller and a power supply for a long range connection longer than 50 feet. So to start, we've got our controller here and our power supply. On our power supply, we have a wire tied in to power, red for red. Uh, ground goes black. We have our white control and green on the ground on the small ports. With this wire, we will tie in the same with the white and the green on our controller side. So we'll go white to control. And green to ground. Taking our home run that runs to our lights, we will tie in our power to the power from the power supply. Again, using Wagos, it's kind of easier for this one. And we'll do black to black for our ground. Now on this one, We'll be using the white and the green wires. Again, I like to use port four. It's nice and close to our smaller ports over here. We will go green to green. And white to white for communication. And in this case here, green is providing a boosted transmitted Data. Now, since we are boosting it, transmitting it, uh, we will need a receiver on the light side. We'll take, we'll match our colors uh, for the 16 floor wire. We'll go color for color here. So we're gonna do power to power. White to white. Green for green. And black for black. Okay. Now on our light side, we'll again double check and make sure our arrow is pointing away from our home run, starting the direction of the lights. We'll go outside black for power to our power on our receiver here. Okay, we'll go inside black to blue, our communication. Inside gray to yellow. And outside gray to black. All right, we are good to give it a test. business.